Hello everyone, my name is Hoodbrook and welcome back to the channel. We are still on our Photoshop tutorials and basically today we are going to learn how to put a logo onto a picture. So to begin, I'm going to open Photoshop, which I've already done that, and I'm now going to upload my picture into Photoshop and to do that, I'm going to go to File, then Open. So you're going to select the picture you want to use, then you click on Open. Guys, now I have my picture in Photoshop and the next thing to do is also upload my logo into Photoshop. In the same way as I did for the picture, I'm going to go to File, then Open. Then I'm now going to select my logo that we have here. Sure. Okay guys, so now I have my logo in Photoshop. and. I don't need the background, the white background in the logo for my picture. So I'm going to erase the background by using a very simple way, a simple technique. Instead of using the quick selection, since I have a very plain background, I'm going to select the magic wine tool instead. And to do that, I'm going to right click on the quick selection tool, then select my magic wine tool. So I'm going to make a selection. And guys, before you add this, maybe you will also want to erase, which I also want to do. I'm going to erase the white in the text tool. But before I could do that, I have to make sure I have my add selection tool activated. And how do I do that? If you could see these four symbols here, the first one means a single selection. The second one means I'm adding a selection. The third one means I'm subtracting a selection. And the fourth one means I'm intersecting with a selection. And I want to add a selection. So before I do that, I'm going to click on the second one, which means I'm adding a selection. So if I click on the second one and I make a selection, I still have my first selection I made selected. So I'm going to select all this part I want to erase. Okay guys, so you might want to zoom in to you know select certain part of this picture. So I'm going to hold Alt and use my scroll bar team to zoom in and out. Okay guys, so I'm now done with my selection and let's now to do is erase it. How do I do that? I can I'm going to use the delete or the bus space um key to erase all the white part i selected but before i do that, i have to make sure my layer is unlocked if you should look on the right side of your layer you're going to see this padlock symbol which means your layer is locked so i'm just going to click on it once then i have it unlocked so now i have it unlocked i'm just going to click on my delete or my backspace key to erase okay guys so now i have my um background erased and to fit back to the frame control plus zero so the next thing to do is make sure this selection are deselected. So how do I do that? I'm just going to use the shortcut key, which is Control plus D. And now, guys, I have my logo with my plain background. So what I'm going to do is grab my Move to, then select my layer. So the next thing to do, I'm going to move this um, logo to my texture, but there are two ways to go about it. I could just click on my logo, use the Ctrl plus C to copy, go to my picture and use the Ctrl plus V to paste. But the simple way to do this is just grab your move tool and drag your logo to the next picture, then release. Sure. So now I have my logo on my picture and the next thing to do is resize my logo. And I'm going to transform this logo by using the shortcut key Ctrl plus T. And since I'm using the CC, I could just drag from the corner and I'm not going to have any problem with my picture. But if you are using any version apart from this CC version, you have to make sure you hold Alt before you drag. Okay guys, so I think I have my logo to the size I want. So the next thing to do is click on this to apply. Then the next thing I'm going to do is move my logo, position my logo to where I want the logo to be. So to do that, I could just use my arrow keys to move the logo. If you want the logo to move faster, just hold shift then. Use your arrow to drag. Or you could just use your mouse to drag the logo to the position you want. And yeah. 
so guys i now have my logo positioned to where i want it to be this is basically how to put a logo onto a picture and guys if you get to know how to erase the background tool for this logo there's a whole lot of stuff you could do too with photoshop so this is basically what i have today and until we meet again is bye bye